Okay, um, good morning. Uh, today we're going to talk briefly about um, fibre scans. These are investigations done on the liver with a fibre scan machine. What they do is they put a little um, echo device on the side of the uh, body and they send a echo pulse through the liver. Completely painless and ever more common because the machinery is very cheap. Um, fibre scans are another tool that uh, liver specialists use to help work with hep B and find out what the hep B is doing, if the hep B is dangerous, etc. Um, they're not very accurate um, and it's important to take these um, tests with uh, the awareness that the fibre scan is something that shows me how much fat is in my liver and how stiff my liver is. And both of these things can be tremendously improved uh, with medication, correct diet, with um, avoiding toxins. So let's study uh, more on the fibre scan issues. Now, when a fibre scan is done, it measures as KPA the stiffness of the liver. Now, as the liver gets stiffer and stiffer and stiffer, um, it's journeying towards cirrhosis or, or, or not working very well. Now, the scale runs from uh, zero here, you can see the zero, to 75. So it's a very wide scale. And the vast majority of people have scores between zero and about 20, 25. Um, and that stiffness is an indication of where you are today. Don't just accept it and get negative and more depressed. Um, it's, it's something you can improve, like everything else. And then we, uh, and stiffness is really a measure of what we call fibrosis or, or scarring of the liver. And in the ultrasound, this is called parenchymal changes, coarse echo texture. They use these type of words in ultrasound scans. It's the same thing measured, but they're calling it KPA on the scale. The fibre scans also give us an indication if, if we're eating too much fat. Now, this fat can come in the form of animal fats, you know, fatty chunks of meat, can come in the form of fried meat, oils, fried foods, it can come in the form of uh, too much sugar. All these things can add to our fatty liver quota. So, you know, you're feeding your poor liver loads of junk and you will find that the fatty liver score has gone up. And again, get rid of the fat, you'll get rid of the fatty liver. Um, don't panic, you know, how many, everywhere you look you'll see fat people, they're not ill, they're not going to drop dead, um, but that fat will kill them before their time, that fat will um, affect their health and it affects the health of the liver. If there's fat hanging over your belt, then there will be fat in your liver, um, simple lesson. Now, the fibrous skin, is, this is crucial. The fibrous skin is very, very affected by what you eat. If you have any food in the eight hours before a fibrous scan, and even a cup of coffee will push your fibrous scan up um, two points. You might be five uh, kPa, but you have a cappuccino, you could be seven. If you go and have a McDonald's burger, you could be eight or nine. Similarly, um, if you eat uh, a big meal in the eight hours before, um, the level will go up. But even up to, I like this point, if you try eating salads and veg and moving away from oil, moving away from fried foods, um, sugary, fizzy drinks like Coca-Cola, if you Dump all the junk two weeks before a fibro scan, I guarantee the score will be a lot better. And that's important. A lot of people do a fibro scan and get heartbroken because, you know, the 
fatty liver cap score is 300. Do a diet just for two weeks. Stop poisoning your liver with all this oil and all these fried foods and all these sugars and see the difference. I promise you, it'll be a giant improvement. So that's the rule of fibre scan. Do not eat or drink anything for the eight hours before the scan. And then you're actually seeing how the liver really is a lot more clearly. Moving on. This is a picture that shows how we measure the state of liver health. Again, it's called the Metavir scale. They use this a lot with ultrasounds. We also use it with fibro scans. And the Metavir scale, as you can see, is the KPA we're measuring here. And if it's up till seven, we basically say you've got a perfectly healthy liver, don't worry about anything. If it's seven to about nine and a half, ten, we say you've got a little bit of, of fibrosis, um, the liver stiffness is there. Um, usually that doesn't affect your health, it doesn't affect um, how well the liver works, but this is a warning that we're heading in the wrong direction. Between 9 and 12, we get a little more concern that maybe the patient needs medication. If, if we get rid of all the toxins, things like alcohol, paracetamol, junk food diet, too much sugar, we get rid of all of that and you've still got fibrosis 3, um, the thought might come to use antivirals. Over 12 and a half, up till 75, these are levels where we begin to say the liver's damaged. Um, and getting back from that, I mean, I was F4 in 2005, and then right diet, everything, I'm more sort of uh, F1, F2 now. But, you know, it takes work. You've got to really heal yourself if you're in this area over here. So that's liver stiffness, and those are fibrosis and scars. Again, always remember the liver regenerates. If you get yourself into a healthy lifestyle, there's no reason why it shouldn't all improve. Um, you can live till you're 77 with 25% of your liver working. It's got a lot of redundancy, this organ. You don't need all of it to live very long. You, you only need one kidney to live, live very long. <laughs> Excuse me. Moving on. Here we see the cap, the fatty liver side of it, not the stiffness, the, the fatty liver. And you see the numbers. Um, uh, 150 to 238, we're calling that perfectly healthy. 238 to 260, not a lot to worry about. 260 to 290, ooh, we're getting a bit of fatty liver in a, in a worrying way here. Um, we need to change diet. Uh, more than 290, well, basically, your liver now has a lot of fatty deposits. You've eaten so much junk food, you've put on so much fat as weight on your body that your liver is mirroring that problem. And the thing is, is if you've got hepatitis B, which wants to sometimes harm your liver, uh, and then you've got fatty liver as well, you're giving yourself two problems. Well, and it's better to learn how to love your liver and stay slimmer and eat better. Um, and this is the amount of fat in the liver, if you look over here. So 150 to 238 is only 0 to 10 percent fat in the liver. That, that's just perfect. That's okay. Um, 238 to 260, 11 to 33 percent. That's also not bad. A lot of people have like 20-30% of their body mass is fat. Um, 260 to 290, now we're looking at larger deposits. Those deposits won't affect your general health, but it's not a good thing. And then once it gets to 67% or more fat, well now there's a high chance that the liver will start to have high outs. Um, between sort of 45 and 75, we often see high outs. And that's the sign the liver's now working all the time trying to get rid of all this fat that you're eating, um, which isn't good for it. And that 
the two things work together. All the fat that your liver's fighting and then the liver's trying to control the hepatitis B virus. Not good. And here's some examples of, of fibrous scans. Here we go again. Uh, 6.4, uh, normal healthy liver, working fine, no need for treatment. Very happy, uh, happy patient with uh, great liver. This one's very good because um, this was a patient who took some advice on pure diet and changing. And you can see here that uh, his fatty liver went from 282 down to 229. That's um, around about you know 60 60 point drop. Um, you know the guy's lost 20 percent of the fat in his liver. And if you look over here, that's from April until June. In two months of decent diet, the fat in the liver went from fatty liver down to mild fatty liver. So, so, so this is it. It's in your hands. Um, and just to show you the power of don't panic, start planning a better life. You know, many medical intervention tests just tell you something about do this better. We, we've all been told, look, eat better food or, or work out more or lose a bit of weight. Well, these particular tests really help us do that. Here we see another one, um, 281, not bad, uh, but 3.3. So zero scarring in that liver, zero stiffness. It's a perfectly healthy liver with a little bit of bad diet. No problems. I like this uh, from Dr. Banker. You can see here, if you look at the Hep B line, see there's hepatitis B. If you scan over here, all the way till there is fibrosis uh, three to four, sort of. And you're right up to 19. So this is important. A lot of patients find out they've got a fibrous scan of eight or nine, and they go into a blind panic, think, "Oh my God, my liver's a time bomb. I'm going to die." Well, no, you you've got fibrosis three to four um, from around about ten all the way up to about eighteen. It's it's fibrosis three to four. It's like, come on, just work with. Um, your, your health. Get a better diet, maybe get antivirals to stop the hep B dead in its tracks so it can't cause any more problems and this will fade away. And this is what happened with me was, you know, I realized I was somewhere over here. I got the medicine to control my hepatitis. I got a great diet. I got rid of, I was on paracetamol full term. I was on alcohol too much. And I went all the way back down to sort of here. <laughs> and you can do that too. That's what we're doing these tests for. Not to tell you you're broken, but to tell you you can change. Um, here's another one. This is a slightly more worrying one. Again, the liver's not showing a lot of Hep B damage. The stiffness is the Hep B. But by goodness, this chap is overweight and living on junk food. So again, it's about him changing and improving himself. And here we go again with another one. This is just to show that sometimes when they do a fibre scan, they will send a few pulses through the liver on different angles, different levels. The liver's the size of a kind of rugby ball, it's a big organ. So they send different pings to see different bits of it. And here you can see that, like, of the 10 pings they've done, Four of them have shown a little bit of fat. Um, so, you know, hey, a little bit less fat. But then all the pings that they've done for liver stiffness show perfect health. So this is the fibrous scan technology. This is another tool that uh, I recommend every hepatitis B patient at least has one. Um, in the West, where money is no object, we have them every six months. Um, a very good idea. This um, type of scan is not so good at showing up problems in the liver. Um, but there you go. Fibrous scans. Thanks very much.